tonight is in store. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to EA Sports. I'm James Sabalski. Well, here we go. Game six tonight. Great energy both inside and outside the arena tonight as we are just moments away now from puck drop. This is what you play for. Moments like this, you can feel the energy in this building, and we are underway. Moves it to the middle. Great defensive play to pick off the pass. Possession on the play. Oh, talk about brutal timing with the stick. Uh, and this is so frustrating, James. You work hard to get to these spots, these positions, and then what happens? Your stick crumbles in two. Big time stop. The goaltenders are the last line of defense for a reason. This time, he bails his team out. Down the right side and into the zone. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Detroit's gained possession along the boards. Here's a chance behind the net. Moves it quickly over to Sider. Oh, it goes off the club and he keeps it out. And he slides it quickly to Sider. My goodness, look at this. The pressure is really starting to cook. Pittsburgh's in on the offensive attack now. The Penguins take it from the side. Works it across to Grizzly. Here's a blast. Denies the chance by blocking it. Here's a chance to the middle. Picked off in front. Puck battle along the boards. Here's a short pass to Sider. Detroit's got the puck in the defensive end. And now it's over to Tarasenko. Shot! Oh, excellent play! Goal there! The Red Wings have it in the offensive zone. Shuts him down. Moves it over to Rust. Can't maintain possession after that hit. Edvinson's taking it from his own end. Takes control of the puck. The Penguins gain control of the puck. And makes the save. Hayes is creating a ton of energy out there because of his drive and compete level. I mean, he is off balance, stumbling, and still manages to find the puck and get it to the net. This creates a scoring chance. Yeah, it doesn't go in, but what it does is it creates energy for his entire team as they build momentum. Poked away in the offensive zone by Well past 
the midway mark of this period. We've got a 2-0 game here tonight. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. Palato's won the face-off. Detroit's got it in the row zone. Chase right in front, denies him! This is a fantastic save, James. He's all over it. What I mean by that is he knows exactly where it is and where it's moving. The reason why he can get square to it and make the save. Stretching your body, finding a way to make yourself as big as possible to get to the save. That's what he did, and that's why the save was made. Official signals for the players to get into position, and we're about ready to drop the puck. They win the draw and go on the attack. He scores!
him up off the faceoff. Gets the puck over to Eller. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. to trap James. I mean, when the puck carrier is below the goal line, everyone's turned, puck focus, toes are turned, and the shooter gets lost in coverage to a quiet area of the ice and makes himself available for the pass. He delivers a one-timer that just beats the goaltender who's still looking at the puck. The Penguins already lead it by a significant margin here late in this first period. get a chance to catch the breath. Stick around. We are about ready to go for the middle stanza here tonight. Here we go. Period number two is underway where it is too much to not enough here. Here's a short pass to Rust. And that shot dies in traffic. Passes over to Larkin. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. What a steal in his own end. Trying to shake loose. Sends it over. Makes the save. Oh, and this is a great save. You can see this one-on-one -on -one battle. And the goaltender is so dialed in, tracking and makes that save. And there's the save. Jari's been really sharp tonight, James, and then just have a look at his save percentage, and he's making the stops that he needs to. But man, his team's played well. They've got going north, they've created opportunities, and the reason why, they have a healthy lead. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. It's a 4-1 game. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. The Penguins carry it along the wall. Detroit's got a hold of the puck now. Moves it to Petrie. Now a quick pass to Comfer. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Keeps control of the puck after taking a little knock. The Penguins gain possession along the wall. Strong defensive effort. Here they come on the attack down the right side. And it comes up with the save. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Pittsburgh's been all over them here in this second period. Just look at the score, and they have dominated in the shot clock, too. The Red Wings win the draw here in their own end. Here they come up along the wing. Throws it in. The Penguins scoop it up along the boards. Eller's got it in the defensive end. Here's a chance on the attack. Detroit's got control of the puck. Feeds it to Rasmussen. Knocks the puck loose after a solid hit. Breakaway! The Villiers have been so Boiling over right now. It's a sense of frustration and anger. 
shooter that his team hasn't put any effort into this game. Listen, it's not just about trailing, but it's about the way they've done it. There's no effort, lackluster performance, and no attention to detail. Pittsburgh's had a yet another to extend this lead, and they are just flying tonight here in period number two. And they've completely worn their opponent down, so they have no energy to get to the puck or try and create. And this is a testament to their whole lineup. They came ready to play. And the puck leaves the zone. Scrum along the boards. Taken along the wall by Hall. And now it's grabbed by Larkin. The Penguins gain control of it. Slides it over with pace to Graves. They've got the defense outnumbered. Centering pass! He scores! What a play! That goal just lit a fire under the bench, James. Anytime you play with energy, it can be contagious. And it's shift by shift that you can drive your teammates forward. He's a leader, and he found a way to get his team on board. Detroit's goal here in period number two gives them at least something to start working up that mountain. Yeah, they've been crushed all game, and if they're going to get up the mountain, it's going to be a contribution from across the board. They can't just be one player. It's got to be a collective unit that goes after it and attacks. Larkin's got the puck. Angles it over to Mata. Pittsburgh's going to play the puck from behind the cage. Mulkin's got it across the line. Slides it diagonally to Larkin. And that's broken up. Battling for it along the boards. Detroit's got the puck. Pucks into the paint. Stupendous blocker save by Cherry. This is a really nice save, James. I mean, the shooter's in the middle of the ice. He's in the slot area. And he's got to get to the top of the crease, square right of the puck to be able to make that save. Great job. And a great save. As a goaltender, you have to be able to read and anticipate the play. He does it perfectly and is able to negate the shot. Pass stolen on the open ice. Quick feed to Bunting. Here he is in close. Too many bodies in the way. Puck knock loose after that hit. Quick pass to Comper. Steps across the line and on the attack down the right side. Puck picked up by Bunting. Taken by Raquel. Inside the defensive zone, moving the puck. The Penguins have it now. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Slides it up to Kopp. And he coughs it up with the pass. Denies it in front. Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. The Penguins have been on fire offensively tonight, and they lead for good reason here in the second. And off the draw, they'll take possession. You've been thunderstruck! Yeah, and you can see and feel that coming, couldn't you, James? And man, that was thunderous. That was a huge hit. Let's the rest of the line. Scores! And look at this! Here we go! It's a goal! Well, they responded exactly the way the coaching team wanted. To be able to get back on the board, get momentum back in your favor. It's key guys that contribute and have an impact. look about as dominant as I have seen them all season here, Cheryl. This period has been unbelievable for them. Yeah, they're dictating pace and they're dictating the play all over the ice and then they're executing on their opportunities. It's a reason why they hold the lead. Shot! With the stop. Tosses it on to Beauvillier. The Penguins are on the attack. Fires it on net. Great save by Husso. The Penguins have been impressive to watch tonight. They've had a lot of shots on net, and they lead it here in the second. Eller's got it, and they'll go on the attack here in the offensive zone. The Red Wings look to start the transition game. Gaining steam here on the attack. Love save made by Jari. There's the whistle. We'll get a face-off after the goalie covers up. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. Oh, and 
and he takes possession of the puck from off the wing with the centers all locked up there off the draw. From the left wing, takes the feed. Dumps the puck in. The Red Wings have it now. And now he moves it quickly to Bolano. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. They put the puck into the offensive end. The Penguins move the puck in the defensive zone. Oh, and a smart heads-up play. Oh, and he gets a piece of the puck to deny them there. Here's a shot. And that goes off a player in front. Hammers a shot. Pittsburgh's been effective all night long, and you can see the momentum just on the bench, the body language. Everyone's having a ton of fun there. All you have to do is look at the scoreboard and you see the smiles. Oh, that's blocked. What a stop by Chari. Gets it over to Bemstrom. Here's a short pass to Pedersen. Tries to get the puck to Plenty. Detroit's gained possession along the boards. Oh, and he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. Pittsburgh's been an impressive club to watch tonight, especially offensively as they lead big here late in the second. Detroit's got a hold of the puck. And he keeps possession. And he takes the feed. And now he tries to get it across to Larkin. Good defensive stop with the poke check. And it's a quick pass to Bunty. All alone! Makes the save! Oh, and this is a great save, James. The goaltender gets to the top of the speech, makes himself look huge, and is extremely aggressive to be able to make that stop. Stop by the goaltender. The goaltender is very aware of where that puck is in that low slot area and defends his crease by getting out, being aggressive, and taking away any of the net. Goes right to the crease! Grabbed along the board by Hayes. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. Well, two periods down and one more still to come. Third period action right after we get a clean sheet of ice. away from the face-off. Let's get back to the action. Larkin's got the puck, and they'll go on the attack. The Penguins have it from their own end. Here's a shot. That goes off a twig. Moves the puck up to the brinket. Detroit's going on the attack as they gain the zone. Oh, and it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Now, the name of his game is Speed James, and he can move at the same speed with the puck as he does without it. It's one of his factors of his game that is so difficult to defend. The Red Wings have it against the wall. The Penguins gain possession of the puck here in the offensive end. Picked up along the wall by Hayes. Moves it quickly over to Chrysler. Takes the pass. I don't think anybody was hanging on to the puck after that hit. Raymond's crossed the line and gained the zone. Takes a shot, and that's deflected off someone in front. Gets the puck behind his net. A little crashing and banging forces the turnover. And that's intercepted in the defensive end. Tries to make a move and can't hang on to the puck. The Penguins gain possession. Detroit's got it from behind the net. Dished on over to Copper. The Red Wings take it along the wall. Moves it to Kane. Comes up with the stop. Ellers got the puck in his own zone. Receives the pass. Deflects it away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Puts it on net. And the lane's clogged up blocking that. 
The Red Wings gain control of the puck against the wall. Detroit's got it across the line. Pittsburgh's got the puck. Both sides digging into that puck along the wall. Keeps a hold of the puck. The Penguins are getting a lot of momentum from their third line tonight, and this is kind of unexpected, but man, is it a nice luxury when they contribute. Shows their depth scoring, and every team needs a strong third line. Handles the puck. Here they are on the attack. Play blown dead. Let's get the call. Graves might try to protest this one, but still going off for tripping. And the power play unit takes to the ice their first chance to try to make something happen in this game. An opportunity on their first power play of the game, James. And this is an opportunity to look at the coverage as well. See how they're playing it, whether they're going to be aggressive or sit back. Picked off. Puck is cleared out of the defensive zone. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. Detroit's got it in the offensive zone. Fires it. And that shot gets blocked by one of his own teammates. And they get that puck down the ice. Picked up along the boards by Sider. They go on the attack through center. Takes the shot. Jari's got it. And I think there's a little strategy involved as he opts for the whistle. Well, yeah, I think he needs a rest, but it's also about game management. Listen, the only reason why they're winning this game is because he has been electric and dynamic between the pipes. The Red Wings will go to work here in the offensive zone. Pittsburgh's got a hold of the puck. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. Cuts to the front. And he stamps that one with the block. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. Larkin's at the faceoff dot, ready to win this draw on the man advantage. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Here they come. Down the left side on the attack. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Graves is now standing ready to get back on the ice. Picking up steam in the offensive zone. Graves is out of the box. His penalty has expired. Well, the PK does a great job. And when you kill a penalty, you create momentum. Great start there. Look at this down the right wing. They're on the attack. Oh, one of his teammates was right in the shooting lane there. Pittsburgh's got the puck along the wall. The Penguins going to work on offense. Pucks it away in his own end. Across the board. Oh, what a close save by Husso. Teams are ready to go, and we're about moments away from puck drop. The Penguins take possession off the faceoff. Forces the turnover in the defensive zone. Here's an odd man rush. The Red Wings will play it against the wall. From the boards, he takes that pass. Scooped up along the wall by Bearbrink. Turns him away. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. The Penguins start with the puck in the road end. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Dishes it off. Great save. Quick feed to Mott. And he hangs on to the puck. The Penguins get a hold of the puck in their own end. Sends it quickly to Rust. Forces the turnover. Detroit's got possession of the puck. And he gives it over to Edvinson. Right side set up ahead into the middle of the ice. The Penguins gain possession in their own end. Can't get a hold of that pass. The Penguins gain possession along the wall. Grabs control of it at the point. Caught into the club by Husso. Hayes 
Wings wins the offensive zone faceoff, and here we go. The Red Wings will play it from the defensive zone. Battle along the wall. And we'll get a breather here with offside the call. Centers are lined up, and we are ready to resume. The Red Wings win the faceoff. Moves it on over to Kane. And some textbook body contact there. Scores! Well, they've got a mountain to climb, but they at least have started the escalation. Well, yeah, they're not at the base of the mountain anymore, but I'll tell you, they're looking up, and it's a long way to go. They're going to have to dig in, put their work boots on if they want to claw their way back into this one, James. The Red Wings are showing a little pride here in the third. And really, that's all that it's about right now. This game is over, and you can see they just want this game and the clock to tick down. They want that final buzzer to go. And after the draw at center, they've got a hold of the puck. Kane's going to play it against the half wall. Driving right to the front. And it's turned aside by Jari. Nice zone entry on the left side. The Red Wings take possession in the defensive end. Comfort stick handling in his own zone. And he takes the dish. And as we hit the final minute, he scores! And there's the hat trick three as the magic number. It's a magic number. He's doing everything he can to take the crowd out of this one as he's with the away team. But been dominated, playing really confident all night long. Detroit's got to dig down and see if they've got a couple more of those on their sticks tonight. If only they could start that way, hey, James? No but they kidding. need to look to finish with desperation and urgency if they want to give themselves an opportunity to even get their tender out. Went for the dirty dangle and it goes sideways. Trying a nifty move when you have good hands. Sometimes it works, sometimes you get denied, and that's what happened there. That opportunity is rejected. The Red Wings scores! That's three in a row! Oh, it's so much easier when you're running in the game and your opponent is chasing, and that's exactly what's happening right now. Well, the goaltender makes their way to the bench, so the extra attacker is on. It's all about urgency, being first to the puck, owning it, and look to attack at all costs. Goals are hard to come by, and after that last goal, the coach is sharing his emotion with his team here. He knows that they're only trailing by one, so that next shift, it is critical. Detroit's got to be feeling confident now, getting that one back, Cheryl. And it puts a lot of pressure on the opponent, James. They've held the lead, and they've given up one. Now they're within one goal, which means it's striking distance in the third period. As a defender, you know when they're coming, and they've got to win this faceoff and dictate the pace. Not to have the big windup, just a nice short, quick release to be able to 
get it done. Officials are set. Players seem ready for ready to get this thing back underway. within the series, and I thought that they were terrific in terms of the effort areas, and that goes a long 